we go! The funny thing is, I looked at my, uh, I looked at the, uh, the save file. It actually has been a month. Last time I saved was on the 6th of December. Jeez. Anyway, hey guys, this is Huraton Almighty 2011. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we restored Elden Providence back to the Realm of Light, and we found out that the kids are here, with the exception of Ilya, and at the same time, we found Gorons, but they're bad in this game for some reason. In this episode, we're gonna find out just what that's all about. Now, these guys don't really have anything important to say, so let's just ditch them. And no, it's, it, that's pretty rude considering we just found them, but they have nothing to say, and frankly, our mission is all the way up there. So, let's head over there, shall we? Now, I gotta say, it's actually been a good while since I've seen Human Link as well. I mean, again, like, it's gotta suck being a wolf for a month, and hey, that's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, I, I know, like, you're not supposed to notice that on your way over here, but I like how we broke that window as a wolf and it's already patched up. That's kind of a really big error. But okay, let's just head over there anyway. Heading over to Gora Mountain. Gora Mountain, Death Mountain, excuse me, get the name right, please. Okay, so, heading over there. Um, they said that the ladder to get up there is destroyed, but that can't stop Link, because we can climb chains. And we're climbing the ruins of the ladder anyway. Upskirt shot. If this was Ocarina of Time, this would be Shoda, and he'd be a trap. But you kids don't need to know about that. Oh, you kids already know about the Yowies. And... Oh, no humans allowed. These lands belong to the Gora tribe. <coughs> <coughs> okay. <coughs> Let's never do that voice again. Oh no, he's coming after us. What do we have to do? No, 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 no. Let's get the... Ah! A weak spirit is no match for the might of the Gorons. Do you understand me, human? Then away with you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, excuse me for a minute, I actually need a drink. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Um, I guess my cough hasn't completely gone away yet, so I shouldn't stream my voice so soon. Again, my cough has lasted for a good while, so I'm kind of mad it's still there. Anyway, try as we might, we cannot get back up there. The Goron is just way too strong for us, and, <laughs> and trying to suplex him is isn't going to do anything. Um, we'll spoil what we're going to do. I'll probably bleep that out in post. Anyway, there's nothing we can do, so let's just head back. And, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, dude, dude, I know you had to go see the Gorons, but really? Whoa, that's creepy. Ah, how fortunate, uh, how fortunate you are. I'm wearing glasses. How can I not see what he's saying? Okay, start this from the top. <clears throat> Ah, how fortunate you are in one piece. I saw you heading up to the mountain trail, so I was worried. Are you still trying to reach the Gorons of Death Mountain? It is far too dangerous, Link. They recognize only strength. A normal person could never persuade them. But I do know one person who was able to best them and even earn their trust. His name is Bo. You may know him as the mayor of your hometown of Ordon. Please go to him, and while, while you are there, please let him know the children are safe. Of course, getting back there would be best, but we cannot keep them safe from the monsters on road with a horse and a cart. Please return to Ordon, and inform the parents that their children are free from harm. Give them my word. Link needs an army. He needs, he needs, to, be a, he needs to be the next Bob Pass character in the next Fire Emblem. Anyway, enough talk of Fire Emblem. So, he just told us that our mayor is actually the... 
a best friend of the Gorons, and he knows how to get past them and their Goron roles. If only Ocarina of Time Link was so fortunate of this. Anyway, we need to head back to Ordon Village, but this is going to be a really big hassle since, you know, Ordon Village is all the way over here. So yeah, we're going to have to walk all the way back. Uh, don't worry though, I'll probably be able to cut this out. There's nothing really going on over there, and there's nothing we can get. Hey, what's going on? Epona? Yeah, it's Epona! Hey, get off my horse! Bitches. Epona! Yay! Okay, we don't have to do this alone, I'm so glad you're safe! Hey, 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 you need to stop now, you need to stop- Whoa! Move, bitch! Okay, um, something's wrong with Epona. She's going crazy, we need to stop her! Epona, please calm down! Please calm down! I love you, horse! Okay, so as the controls say, you have to hold down A and hold the uh, control stick in the direction they're telling you, otherwise you're gonna fall the f*** off. And once you see A appear on screen, seize her! <sighs> that was close. Well, we got our horse back! No pun intended. Anyway, let's hit Minna. Hmm. You're not too shabby a Wrangler, after all. Won't this make getting back to your town a lot easier? Now go finish your errand so we can get back. Get back. Get a move on. Anyway, yeah, now we have our horse back. And I can finally talk about swordplay. Actually, no, I, I just remember I spoke about it in a previous episode. Well, now that we have an actual sword, we'll do more damage and everything. You get my point. Anyway, <clears throat> so... Getting to Ordon Village is going to be a lot more easier, and I guess I should talk about something now that we finally have Epona back. And also, I'm going to be quiet for a second, because listen to this! That's not what I wanted you to listen to. Uh, okay, he's killing our mood, but let's... what do you need? Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. It is a letter from Uku. Well, my business is concluded. I'm going to mail. Damn short shorts. Anyway, what is the letter about? <clears throat> Ooh, I was so happy to see you the other day. I really had fun. I was also so happy to see my son's face again. So happy. I'd like you to know, we'll be heading to another location soon. If you continue our travels, well, chances are we'll meet again. My son and I are certainly looking forward to seeing you again. Take care of yourself, Uku. She's just letting us know that if, if we find her in the next dungeon, she'll be able to help us out again. Anyway, what I want you guys to listen to is basically a fully orchestrated version of Hyrule Field. Well, like, more orchestrated, like the trumpets are more defined and everything. Um, when you're riding a Pona, and that's... I love this song. This is probably my favorite version of Hyrule Field next to the one in Spirit Tracks. But, uh, yeah, and also, we're pretty much pretty invincible from everything on the field. So, nothing stopping us? Let's just head over back to Ordon. The thing I wanted to say before also is that, um, a fun... F not really a theory. It's kind of a theory. It's not really relevant to this, more relevant to Majora's Mask. But... In Majora's Mask, since this game takes place roughly a hundred years or so after Majora's Mask, um, it said that this, uh, it said that the Epona you meet in Majora's Mask is the Terminian Epona, and the real Epona was killed at the beginning of the game. I actually have Hyrule Astoria now on my Wii U, so I'm not sure if that information was uh, proven false or true yet. But the Epona in this game. I don't know either, but I think it's I think it's the descendant of Epona. Like pretty much like, you know, like Epona's breed just continue to um, breed on in, into a new Epona, just like how this is a new Link. Um, but I don't know, like I kind of wish there was more information on it and probably after the, after these couple of episodes cuz I'm going to do this in bulk. Um I'm going to look up this information and everything, but yeah. So, we got here pretty fast. Having a Pona is really helpful. So, before we saw that the, that the hero spirit is here, so let's go see him again. Meet again. 
the second hidden skill, the shield attack. Lock onto a foe with L and press R to thrust your shield, dazing your enemy. But, but I have five more secrets to teach you in time. The path, the path to becoming a true hero is a long one, but once you have grasped all the hidden skills, you shall be worthy of walking it. You must persist on the lonely path of the sword to obtain true courage and earn the strength to conquer the great evils of the world. Do not forget your discipline with the blade before we meet again. So, now that we know the shield attack, which in the Wii version it's thrusting the nunchuck up, and I gotta say, this is something that Skyward Sword greatly improved on. The shield attack in in uh, the Wii version of um, of Twilight Princess. Sorry about that. I will frontly say it does not work. I had numerous moments that I tried using a shield attack and the move just did not respond, or I just ended up doing a uh, doing the uh, spin attack because that's what the button is assigned to. I am so glad in Skyward Sword they fixed it because spin attack is now both uh, the Wii Remote Nunchuck and the shield attack is just uh, the Nunchuck. But then again, then again, um, motion controls were something they kind of did the last minute for, Sky for Twilight Princess with Skyward Sword. It was uh, there from the get-go. So, let's head into the village, shall we? Okay, uh, I really am straining my voice a lot. So I probably should stop doing voices for the next few parts. You guys, you guys won't hear like me coughing though, cause with the exception of before, cause um yeah, that I'm probably gonna edit that out. But now that we're in Oron Village, let's go vis, let's go visit everyone and tell them about the current situation of the kids. I keep pressing L when I when I told myself that it was R to uh to dismount. Anyway. Oh, there's sad music, too. That cat has been licking the same thing of milk for the past month. I think there's a problem here. Link, are you okay? Oh, good. That's good, my dear. 
But please, you must tell me. You haven't seen the children, have you? Well, you see... Ah, uh, oh. Oh! They're in Kakariko Village! Oh, thank goodness they're all still alive. I was worried sick. Phew. Finally, I can get back to work in peace. Link, do you need something? You take a look and see... Okay, no. I, I don't want to shop. I just wanted to let you know. So, I'm just going to be go You don't have to do this, but it's really a nice thing to do. I'm going to go around the village and tell all the um, people that their kids are okay. So, I'll cut out the travels there. Link. The children are... Alive?! What? They're alive! This is fantastic! Truly fantastic! Oh, thank you for letting me know, Link. Link! You came back alive! Talk about great news! Listen, please tell me you know something about the little tykes. Well, you see... Huh? They're in Kakariko? Boy, that's a fine fix. We're gonna have to tell the mayor about that right away. Well, your kids are fine, and I, I like how the shadow of his thing is just clipping through the... That's, that's very bad, Nintendo. The children, they're alive? Oh, oh, thank heavens. I almost gave enough hope for them. Thank you so much for coming to tell me, Link. Link! I heard you were safe and sound. It relieves me to see that you were hail... Hail and heart... Wow, that's a weird... Okay. Well, you see... Oh. Colin. Colin is alive? Oh, the children are all safe. Oh, how wonderful. I'm so glad I kept the faith. Shouldn't it just be... Shouldn't it just be I kept faith? Okay. My thanks to you, Link, from the bottom of my heart. Have you told everyone else yet? You must tell them all. I already have. Oh, Link, that sword. The evil creature stole it from Russell, but you got it back? How wonderful! I know it is safe in your hands, and you need it now, yes? Please keep using it, Link. Well, Link, I hope you will return again to show me your shining face. It does my heart good to see you so well. There's one more person we have to see before seeing the mayor, but that but that really was nice to be able to tell everyone that their kids are fine. Also, it's kind of also it is kind of bittersweet that Uli notices that uh, you got the so that you have um, the sword, even though uh, pretty much you took it in the first place. But she doesn't know you're a wolf. And if I'm correct, actually, we have to, yeah. <laughs> he notices us from right away, never mind. Ooh. Looks like we're going to have to be seeing that person after. Whoa, it is you, Link. You're safe and sound. Your clothes. What happened to you, lad? At least you acknowledge the fact I'm wearing different clothing. Everyone else just like, ooh. C come quick, inside. Hey, we actually get to go inside his house now. I see. So the youngins are in Kakariko Village. Well, that's good. Ronaldo's an old friend. If they're in his care, then we can relax. Oh! So, don't keep me waiting, lad. Tell me the little girl ill- Tell me my- Why can't I talk? His creepy face is f creeping me out. You, you look like Cogsworth from friggin' Beauty and the Beast. So, don't keep me waiting, lad. Tell me he and my little girl. Ilya is with the rest of them, right? I hate Link's face here, just because I, I love the emotion that Link that Link has put on ever since Wind Waker because it's really good, but oh my god, when he's sad, you can just see it. Oh, I see. That ain't what I wanted to hear. Ah, but Link. I guess I need to think of of all five of those poor kids, not just my own. They're all in danger. What I should be asking and is how I can help out. Nod. 
I like how that nod. That nod indicated the Link. That Link was telling him something. I love that. What's that now? The Gorons of Death Mountain? I see. So Ronaldo told you that. Well, it's true. I did defeat the Gorons in a contest of strength and earn their trust, with the help of a little secret. I can teach you the secret, but you can promise me that you will absolutely positively NOT disclose the information to anyone. No! No, I will. He like, Link turned around for a quick second just like, let me think. Good, alrighty, then absolutely no one. Come, this way. Link, you've heard of sumo wrestling, right? Gorons like to match your strength in sumo contests. Luckily for you, the basics of sumo are the same as stopping and charging ghosts. You want to hear more? I already know what to do, but for the sake of you guys, so I don't have to explain this later, yes. Alright then, I'll teach you the basic ways of the sumo. If you're getting in the sumo match, chances are you're in an arena much like this. The first fella to push his foe outside the arena wins. Step forward and grab your foe with A. Then use B to retreat to let a retreating foe taste your open palm. Sidestep and advance with the uh, control stick. If you're playing the Wii version, you have, to s you have to swing the Wii remote instead of pressing B. Three techniques, all of them pretty basic. Master all three and we'll be shoving folks out of the arena like this in no time, lad. So, there you go, the basic sumo. Need to hear them again? No! Rather than explain a lot, why don't you just get, get to it then? Come, come at me in the ring, lad. And now for now for this this Zelda game's out of place Japanese culture. Oh God, those man those man boobs. And by the way, this is something I never understood, but I kind of find it funny. Apparently, Link wears his old he wears the tunic over his old clothes, and Link has a five pack. That's so weird. Oh God, oh old man ass. Ready? Go! If I don't talk during this, I'm sorry. Oh god. If I don't talk during this, I'm sorry, but I was never good. Case in point, I was never good at these su I was never good at any of these sumo thingies. So, uh, chances are I'm actually gonna lose this. Oh my god. Yeah, like that. Oh yeah. What's the matter, Link? You think I was going to take it easy on you? If you can't prevail in a match of this, you have no chance against a Goron. For example, if you grab foes to resist, press A- I know! Come at me again! I, I should have screen capped this. This should be- You know what? This is going to be the title of the episode. Just come at me again. Okay, um, I'm just going to cut this out till I'm able to do this. You have to do this two times, pretty much, so I'll do this- I'll cut out to the uh, final attempt. Oh, of course it's easy this time! You did the same thing as last time, except you added on a move! And I like how Link is scrawny, but he has, like, pecs. So he's just a typical anime, um... He's just a typical anime, like, uh, pretty boy, but he's strong as hell for some reason. So that only took two tries! You did- Why was the first time hard? Whatever. Oh ho, not too shabby, lad. With your natural talent, I'm sure you can take on the Gorons. You've gotten this you gotten a slight stronger in the short time you've been gone, Link. Strong as you are though, you can't hope to beat the Gorons wrestling with the power alone. Those Gorons are made of rock. No shit! Nah, the secret of beating the Gorons is locked away in that chest! Take it with you, lad. So we're basically gonna be cheating. You got the iron boots! Wear these and you'll become so heavy, not even Goron will be able to move you. And I also really love the way they look in this game. You can probably tell those boots are made of iron, lad. Whoever wears them won't be as easily pushed around, even by a Goron. If you're, feel if you're fixing to fight a Goron, be sure to wear those boots. Let's be square though, lad. You can't ever tell anyone about those boots, especially Ronaldo. Don't worry. Your secret about cheating is safe with me.
Well, we got to Ordon Village. We got a new skill from the Hero Spirit. We told everyone that the kids are fine, and we got the Iron Boots, so now we're ready to go back up to Death Mountain. So, I think we'll call it an episode. The next episode, we'll go back to, um, we'll go back to Kakariko Village, but first, we'll go see the last resident of or Ordon Village and tell him everything's fine, and also get something from him, because he owes us something. See you guys next time, and I really need a drink.